The Daily Mail reports that several Manchester United players are unhappy that Rasmus Hoyland gave an interview to a popular YouTube fan channel which they say routinely criticizes them. So the not Holland, but the, the the YouTuber. Yeah. So basically, this is a story that Daily Mail picked up from United We Stand, which is um, a really, really big um, and long-established mm. Manchester United uh, a fanzine, and they're reporting that. So this channel, the, the guy who runs the channel is a guy named Mark Goldbridge, who's a very very successful uh, YouTuber. He's actually a former cop. And yeah. Mark Goldbridge isn't his real He's name. He's Italian as well, isn't it? It's he? an Italian last yeah. name. Yeah, I, I do wonder, like, if you're going to come up with a name, like, seriously, Goldbridge? That sounds really lame. But whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Um, <laughs> But, but he's really, he's, he's an enormous following, so um, clearly a lot of people are into it. And according to this fanzine, which is a pretty reliable in what, in what they report generally, yeah. some United players, they got angry with Hoyland that Hoyland agreed to go on there. Because the reason Hoyland agreed to go on is because he's, he's a Manchester United fan and, you know, he's quite Probably young. He likes so, the guy, yeah. Well, he was, was watching it watching back it? when he was yeah, a fan yeah, exactly and he was, was a nobody, say, right? Yeah. Um, I refuse to think that the United players are having a go at Hoyland for saying, oh, don't go talk to this guy because he criticizes us. The guy is obviously a United fan. Doing a job, whether you consider what he does as journalism or not, or simply being a fan, mm. criticizing the players when you think it warrants it, is part of being a fan. You're a Paris Saint-Germain fan. Yeah, yeah. You have no problem criticizing Paris Saint-Germain when enough, they play yeah. badly, and you often do. Yeah. So I, I think the I don't know if there's some miscommunication here, but the upshot of this is some vermin on the internet have apparently issued death threats against Mark Goldbridge and his staff. What for? Uh, like on, on. This is the part which isn't super clear to me, in the sense that presumably they already knew that Mark Goldbridge existed. Yeah. Um, so why why not you, you criticize him. you you threaten him now that he has Erasmus Hoyland on, but you didn't threaten him before because he was criticizing players. Yeah, I don't get that part, it's but weird. it's it's ugly. Hey, it's the what's strange is that in the club, especially at United, who control the communication of their own players so right. much. There's maybe not as many interviews done by the squad than well, but the, the 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 clubs the, the club authorized the interview. Yeah, which is still. Strange, because the club could have said, listen, we know that this Mark Goldbridge at times could be a bit critical towards the team, the players. You know, maybe they could have warned him. Maybe they could have said, maybe don't do it now that you're injured. Maybe later at the end of this. I don't know. In preseason, stuff like that. I'm always quite amazed when this kind of explodes like this, where you could have easily avoided it or make it just happen in a different way. That's all. Yeah, I like, I, I don't know. I, I'm not a comms expert, clearly. Um, I, I do think you'd actually want to celebrate and tell the story if I'm united. Yeah. Hey, this guy was a United fan years ago. He was watching Goldbridge when he was a kid. I don't know how long Goldbridge has been yeah, on, but, yeah, yeah. but it's but been yeah, a while, yeah. so right? I see your point. It's a fair and point. so, therefore, yeah, yeah, this is how he connects to the fans yeah. because we may not like everything they do, but the guy's got, I think, 1.5 million followers or however many. So, celebrate this. Yeah. You know, and, and I think that's what the club are trying to do. Whether if you're a United player and you're, you're unhappy, then you've got problems. Yeah.